The haters are hating. Can the Broncos shake it off, Henry? Is we're going to talk Taylor about Swift it thing? today. What's a little Taylor Swift wow. reference oh, today? Boy. We're going to talk about the ESPN rankings, which are fascinating. They broke down every single position on every single NFL team and ranked them. And let's just say... They don't like the Denver Broncos. We're going to break it down on the DNVR yep. Broncos podcast live from the the Toyota Lounge here at the DNVR bar where we have an awesome jam-packed show doing a little something different today. And we've got Henry Chisholm, you here, and Zach Stevens rocking and rolling with you today. Henry, how are you doing today? Good. I've just been... Calvin Throckmorton has gone on a journey last year. And so going back through... So that's, we should say, the Broncos' new backup lineman. Um, is, who, he, is he a backup? Yeah, he's a backup. Um, huh. You don't think so? Don't, How could he not be? I'm, I'm not so sure. They're not benching it. Ben Powers. Um, I think, first of all, some of the guys in the Madden League were like, wait, they got Matt Pert and Calvin Throckmorton. Those were like two draft pod guys from a few years ago. It's like, yeah, we were big fans. Um, but, yeah, so I've just been going through because he was with the Panthers at the start of the year and started a bunch of games. But then, like, he started, I think, like, seven games or something. And then after one of them was cut and the Titans picked him up or he was waived and the Titans claimed him. And so I was like, well, that seems weird. And so I was going through the whole journey of, like, Panthers injuries on the offensive line and, like, why they would cut him and, like, why he was playing in the first place. So that's what I've been doing all morning, and it was not fun. Wow, yeah, that does not sound very fun at all. But, I mean, you're back of the roster, Hank, so you're doing yes. what back of the roster people do. But, again, I'm not sold that he is going to be a backup for the Broncos. Wow. But you pointed out Ben Powers. No, he's not taking Ben Powers' spot. He's not I taking mean, Quinn Minard's spot. He can't. He's never played center in the NFL, though. It doesn't matter. He's really? played in college, and the Broncos right now, haven't had a center that's played center uh. in the NFL in games consistently. So I think he's in that competition because you know what Throckmorton is? A guard slash tackle? Slash center. He's a <laughs> Sean Payton guy. He is. And that can't be discounted. Maybe we'll talk about Throckmorton a little later when we get to the offensive line grades here. And so ESPN, Mike Clay, does this every single year where he puts out I mean, detailed might not even do it justice. He puts out an incredibly yeah. in-depth grading system. It's, it's more of a projection of how teams stack up going into the 2024 season. So we're looking at this for the future for 2024, not grading this past mm -hmm. season. And he breaks down uh, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, offensive line, defensive line, edge, linebacker, cornerback, and safety for all 32 teams. Gives them a grade between zero, actually between point one, which is the worst you can be mm -hmm. because I think if you have living bodies, you at least get a point one, yep. and four. Four is elite. Four is the best that you can get. And he does that for every single position mm -hmm. and then gives them percentages as well to weigh them out so that, you know, um, inside linebacker doesn't have the same weight as quarterback, which is yep. probably fair. And I'll get, get into those percentages in just a second. And then he combines all of those to see who has the best offense in the league, who has the best defense in the league, who has the 32nd best or 32nd, which would be the worst offense and defense, and then combines all of that to give the roster grades for every team in the NFL. Henry, let's start. With big picture, where do you think the Broncos are in this ranking of a total roster? Well, I know they're all the way at the bottom. Like, I, I've seen the all tweets the way, so that they're like, no, they were what? They were 30th. 29th or 30th? They were 30th. They're 30th, but yeah. they're tied for 29th. And they're also tied for 31st. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So there's three teams tied, I guess, for the second worst roster in the NFL. Who would those teams be? Who do you think has a similar roster 
as the Broncos. I mean, so I'll, give, I'll give you a little hint the, here. I'll tell you the worst. No, guess the worst as well. So the Panthers should be the worst. Um, in correct. Really? So then it would be the the Patriots or the Commanders, I guess, should be. If you're it guessing be the, the worst right now, yeah. you're incorrect. Okay. Um, let's see. Who else is going to be terrible? Let's yeah. see. It's not Hank, the Chargers, not the like Rams. pulled up like a little graphic that has all the teams so he can see it. Yeah, and they actually got it wrong and put the Cardinals in the AFC West and the Chargers in the AFC West. What that's graphic not the point. are you um, looking at? Just flukadamas.com. You yeah. search the images, <laughs> and that's what comes up. Um, Roster-wise... Oh, this is terrible. There's actually a whole bunch of things wrong with this. Um, and I'm going to, when Hank's looking at that, I'm going to ask Henry a lot of questions today. You guys should tune in or, or uh, respond in the Toyota chat to let us know yes. what you think. Where are the Broncos rank out. when I ask all of these questions? And plus, give Henry some help. Todd's not here to do that. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be the Bears anymore with all the talent they have. It shouldn't be the Colts, but I could see them putting them pretty low. I mean, Anthony Richardson, rookie quarterback, would be tough. Let's, you're are you're the Colts talking down to yourself there? In, in circles right here. Colts... Yeah, actually, that's the furthest one off that you've been so far. Okay, middle that makes pack. sense. I, I just want to make sure there's no disrespect there. It's not going to be the what Browns. It's not going to be the back. Bengals. It's not going to be the Cowboys. not going to be the Texans. Uh, the Saints? <laughs> <laughs> um, the Saints have no cap money left, but they do have an okay roster, according to this. Interesting. Uh, the Titans? No. Nope. Huh. Uh, they can't have the Falcons that low, but... Yeah, correct. Run out options. Jags yeah. wouldn't be. Dolphins wouldn't be... The Bucks, the Bucks have that defense. They're not going to be down there. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, we already did Washington. We Toyota did. Chad, help Henry out here. It's not the who has the worst roster in the NFL. Yeah, I mean it could be the Giants. Oh, but I mean they lose Saquon. The first per well, not the first person, but oh, oh, wow, they say Giants. in, throwing in. Yeah, you are you going to phone a friend right Giants? now? You going to phone a friend of the Toyota? Sure. Yeah, it's the Giants. Really, the New York Football Giants. Worst huh. roster in the NFL. So I said that they, it goes from yeah. four being the best, point one being the worst. The Giants are a one. Okay. There are two teams tied for the best rosters in the NFL at a three. Two teams tied for the best. Who is um, it? So the 49ers would be up there. And then up there the, or uh, it? I mean, it should be them. Okay. That is um, correct. You're one for one. Henry, go two for two here. And then the other one would be... Or maybe don't go two for two here. Oh, it would be the Ravens. Nope. Really? Ravens? You love them. Huh. There we go. There, he, it's the, the Chiefs? The Chiefs oh, aren't good. I they shouldn't be up there. I can't believe you picked up on the hint of... You hear they saying shouldn't you be love up there. them. Yeah, I mean, he wow. does his things. Well, the Chiefs are... Uh, I'm trying to see how many perfect positions there are. There's a couple perfect positions, and the Chiefs obviously have one of them with the quarterback mm -hmm. position. Um, and so you're right. Chiefs, 49ers, the two teams that were just in the oh. Super Bowl have the best rosters, the Chiefs according should not to him. be that high. The Giants, again, well, we'll get into that in a second because we'll look at some other AFC West teams and what he has. So Chiefs and 49ers, and then the Giants at the very bottom. Okay, now, Henry, Broncos, I said the Giants are the worst at, with mm -hmm. a 1.0. Broncos tied for second worst with a 1.2. Yep. Who are they tied with? Um, you guessed one of them already, but oh, you guessed like 27 Which teams one was already. Oh, okay. so. oh, my goodness. We're going through it again. <laughs> um, let's see. So um, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a hint so you, just, okay. uh, so you don't have to. Uh, um, one of these teams has a new head coach that was very much oh, in the Patriots? conversation to be a Broncos head coach. For maybe multiple cycles, or at least at least one cycle, not this past one. Uh, they're very much in the quarterback sweepstakes for this year. Rookie quarterback. Oh, is it the Commanders? It's the Commanders. Okay, that's that's fair. Broncos and Commanders. You think um, it's fair? Similar rosters, maybe. I mean, they're terrible. Yeah, I mean, I I think the Broncos might be a little bit too low, but I have to like actually look at it to before I say anything like that. Um, Another team not in the quarterback sweepstakes. But they are in a position where they could draft one. Oh, the Cardinals? Cardinals. Yeah. Broncos are tied with the Commanders and huh. the Cardinals for the second worst roster in the NFL. Yeah. I mean, they can say what they want. I, I can't, you can't really argue at this point because they haven't actually played yet. Broncos had the 12th pick, though, in the draft. They're not yeah. like a bottom feeder like yeah, the Commanders. Yeah, but they got rid of a overall. Super Bowl winning quarterback. So. Like the Cardinals. 
Well, Sean thinks it's he's going to be even better without him. Yeah. The Cardinals have the number four overall pick. Uh, the Bears have, well, it's actually technically the Panthers that had the number one overall pick. And then you look at the Giants. They have the sixth overall pick. So yep. to your point, Henry, the Broncos, according to the draft, were you know the 12th worst team yep. in the NFL uh, or the 20th best team in the NFL. And yet... Mike Clay, when he goes through this, is saying they're actually tied for the second worst team in the NFL. You said that they should have been higher. Do you think they're probably more I mean, around where their draft spot is? Uh, who's in front of them? Um, just ahead of them. Yeah. Titans is one spot ahead. Then the Patriots and Raiders are tied for that next spot. Panthers are right there, which you probably very much disagree with. Then the Vikings, Buccaneers, Saints... Chargers, Rams. I mean, the Titans have a, a quarterback that's better, so that's going to make it tough. They have much better skill position players. Their offensive line is fine. Defense has questions. Oh, they've got Jerry Sneed, too. So, yeah, like they could be in front. The Titans. Like, it's tough to make that argument. Yeah. Um, who else was right there? Um, you also had the, oh, the Patriots. Uh, Patriots, Raiders, Panthers. So, the Patriots are a tough one. Um, so, let's see. KJ Osborne, Kendrick Bourne, Demario Douglas, Ramondre Stevenson. Broncos have better skill position players. Um, Jacoby Brissett, they have the better quarterback. Offensive line, you probably go Broncos. But then defense, Matthew Judon, Kyle Duggar, Jabril Peppers, some young guys. I mean, I would go, I would go Broncos over Patriots for sure. Okay. But, I mean, with Jacoby Brissett, quarterback, that's probably the difference in their rankings. Um, the Panthers... The Panthers haven't really done anything to get any better, and they were terrible. Um, so you're, I guess you'd be hoping... Oh, they did. They spent a ton of money on their offensive line. That's true. Just Damian you, Lewis, Robert Hunt, and, just and then Deontay hand, Johnson. It, that did... They now have a really good offensive line, according to these yeah. rankings. Yeah. But that, to your point, that's about it. Yeah, and then they did get Jadavian oh, Clowney, you know too. What? They actually got a big boost at linebacker. Yeah. Jadavian Clowney, but he's probably an edge in their book. Um, Josie Jewell. Josie yep. Jewell giving the Panthers a little boost. How about that? Yeah, with Shaq Thompson. I mean, that's not a terrible roster. I mean, you could probably go either way. Had the Thielen, Deontay Johnson, Jonathan Mingo group is rough, especially with Tommy Trumbull at tight end. Chuba Hubbard. Like, like I don't... Who's actually going to score any points for them? He, uh, he says no one. Um, okay, because yeah, there you go. Because quarterback is actually the second, uh, I guess third best position on their team and obviously Bryce yeah. struggled a lot um he says their uh, tight end room isn't just the worst tight end room in the NFL he says the Panthers tight end room is tied for the worst position or the worst position yeah. in the NFL no I'm, I mean Tommy Tremble Ian Thomas Stephen Sullivan that's that's not a good group at all <laughs> they're terrible <laughs> Um, and then you get to the Vikings, Bucks, Saints. Kind of when you hit huh. Vikings, and obviously Vikings going through a major transition yeah. at, at the quarterback position. Um, but obviously at tight end, they have really good tight end. They have really good safeties. They have really good receivers. But then struggle yep. in other areas. But kind of when you get to Vikings, Bucks, Saints, Chargers, Rams, Steelers, then that's when it goes from like, I think, yeah, uh, maybe, that's a different tier. Exactly. And and I think the Broncos are probably the top of this bad tier yeah bottom of like i think they're kind of borderline there, not the second worst roster in the nfl yeah that's fair i mean again without seeing the team actually play like if you're just trying to put it all on paper you've got jarrett sidham at quarterback right that's got to be worse than the nfl i guess we'll probably go position by position but i can't imagine what would be worse than that um i think you don't I, I, the the difference with that tier above is that they have strengths. Like if you're the Vikings and you're sitting there with Justin mm. Jefferson and Jordan Addison, it's like, okay, you're you're going to be just fine passing the ball, even if Sam Darnold isn't any good. Um you look at like the Bucks with the defense, like those guys all just have like established strengths. We look at the Broncos, there isn't really any true strength on the roster. Like the cornerbacks with Pat, you would think could be one, but then you look at the other cornerbacks and you're like, nope, that's not a strength. Uh, Safety is obviously not a strength. Linebackers, not a strength. Defensive line, not a strength. Edge rushers, not a strength. Offensive line, not a strength. Like, I mean, that's, that's probably the best group, but with the 
question mark at center it's tough and then when you're talking like okay offensive line kind of a dependent position because if you're going to run the football you need the running back to be good and Javante Williams had 3.6 yards per carry last year so running game not a strength passing game obviously not a strength so I mean if you wanted to you could like argue in front of the Panthers or Patriots or whatever but I mean you you what's the point you know who doesn't have any weaknesses the 49ers our friends over at Toyota uh, where they don't have yes. any weaknesses they have been in the truck game for generations they also have 17 models with available all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive like the epic forerunner and they also have 16 different hybrid vehicles to choose from like the tundra their truck has a hybrid version i force max hybrid and they've also got suvs to command the road and the trails like the rab4 and the Grand Highlander, whichever direction you choose, I'm a forerunner guy myself. The mm. one you pulled up, yeah. What what was that? I mean, that it's was not honestly, a real world. I guess like, forerunner isn't either, but it's a combination of two real words. It is for a word because four, four is, is a word. literally just well. I guess the, they number. Use the number. Yeah, they use the number. But so no, you're a right. Word. It's not even a word. The it's, forerunner isn't a word because it's no, a it's a it's number. It's definitely not a word. It's a number word. Not pushed together. The I mean, and yours couldn't have been. Dip more different in a cool way too. It was like Not the most the sporty of sports car Where'd I ever. Find Didn't this? it start with an S? I thought so. Yes. And they have so many different things. No. A sequoia. That's a big one. Yeah. That's that, a real that, word that, too. That's even. Yeah. That's a tree actually. Yes. And a car. An Supra. Awesome car. Supra. A Supra. <laughs> I mean, I won't. That's that's that, not. That, Henry I, said that was his favorite car yesterday. And he couldn't remember. Shame. Surprisingly inexpensive. Um, yeah, here. What's your What's your Toyota? What's your favorite Toyota? It all depends where you're going for, right? You want to go ro- off roading. You need a four runner. You yep. need something big. The yep. Tundra's great. But if you want to go fast and don't and just don't uh, not worry about anything, Supra. But it has to be like the 1996 twin turbo mm. Supra where you oh, just wow. nonstop. Yeah, this one looks a lot different. The yeah, 2024 like the Supra one. looks... Uh, yeah, I no, think, I think the, I'll take the 2024 Supra with Hank. We'll let you take the 1990. The 1996 is around 120K. Holy. Miles? No, cost. Oh, like, my it is goodness. Collectors now. That is amazing. Wow. And that just shows Toyota is our collectors. Uh, they are around forever. I love the the Forerunner. Also, maybe the, the Land Cruiser is right in there. And if you want to get yourself a Toyota, visit your Front Range Toyota stores at a location near you. They've got AutoNation Toyota, Arapaho, and Centennial, Corwin Toyota in Boulder, Groove Toyota in Littleton, Mountain States Toyota in Denver, Stevenson Toyota East in Aurora, and Stevenson Toyota West in Lakewood. Toyota, the official automobile partner of the NFL and the official vehicle of DNVR. I didn't drink a coffee this morning, so I can't read any of these chats. They're all blurry. What? I got to pull it up. What? Coffee helps yeah, you read? It's, it's what turns my eyes on. Otherwise, they just like, they're all just, they just don't work. I've um, never heard someone say coffee turns their eyes on. But when you look, I mean, those are all just Toyota cars. Like I yeah, can, they I are. Can tell, we, got, yeah. we got the Supra, the Toy, uh, Tacoma, guys, the Forerunner. Do you guys know what a Helix is? No. no. It sounds fast. It's a, No, it's actually just basically a Forerunner, but out in Japan. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's uh, true because they like take the exact same cars and just like name them different things over there. Oh, because well, they, mm. they wouldn't call it a here, Forerunner. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 sure, yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> um, also, shout to Bet365. I made some money with them last night. Um, wow, let's see. Strez. It, yeah, that was a good one. Uh, <laughs> I pulled it up on my computer. Um, so what happened? It was, there were, it was the second half of the LSU game, and it was the end of the second period for the Avs. So the Avs were down 3-0. to zero. LSU was down by 11. And so I was like, ah, I haven't made any bets in a couple days. Might as well, like throw 10 bucks down yeah there's 10 bucks for the abs to come back and lsu to come back and the rockies to win today and the nuggets to win today and it paid out two thousand dollars <laughs> i was like yeah why not just throw it out there already dead and then well about 10 minutes in i was like hmm, that was probably a really dumb bet so i cash it out turn that 10 bucks into ten dollars and 27 cents oh how about that yep. wow yeah. so i'm gonna try to figure out what i'm doing with that 27 cents today damn don't um, spend it in one place oh i'll try not to uh actually we paid rent yesterday, obviously. It's the first. I paid, like, the extra penny because it's always, like, nice. an odd number. So I guess, really, I'm, it's, I'm, like, up 26 cents on the day because I could have pawned that one off. You can invest that penny over this next month. You could. See what it does. 
Wow. I mean, yeah, you just put a penny on because like, the Nuggets are like my seventeen hundred. So I wonder if they would give you two cents for that one penny. Mm, you know, because yep, you gotta yep. they, you gotta round it, and they're not gonna <laughs> give me nothing. I'm actually gonna check that out. Oh, they probably have minimum bets of like ten cents. Um, oh, but Bet365 right. is awesome. Um, they have a bet and get offer. You place a bet of five dollars or more and get hundred and fifty dollars in bonus bets. Um, there's a first bet safety net offer where you can place a bet up to a thousand dollars. If your qualifying bet loses, you actually get a matched refund in bonus bets. Uh, whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. Um, use that code DNVR365 to sign up. Um, must be 21 or older, physically located in Colorado. Please gamble responsibly. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call or text 1-800-GAMBLER. Man, the Toyota chat loves Toyotas. That's good. Like, we talk about football, and the chat's pretty popping. We talk about Toyotas, yeah. and it just is blowing up. See, oh, Henry, you missed it again. Have you seen the Toyota drive off the screen? Uh, I saw the corner of my eye that one time. Yeah, here. We need to see it again. Oh, you got to be paying attention, Can Henry. you have it drive other places? <laughs> <laughs> can you... Just work on it. Yeah, here. Can you just have it sit on Henry's face for... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you could just put... You could change, like, the logo on my hat to the Toyota logo. Yeah, I like that. You know, Henry, you and yeah, I I'm are sure both. You can find a way. You and I are both uh, rocking the Rockies today. We yes. just need to be like rocking Toyota because oh, yeah. at least that would be a winner. I hadn't seen the other side of you. That is Rockies, isn't this it? This is uh, my my wife's. Oh. I found it in the in uh. my closet today and was like, <laughs> or I guess in our shared closet. And I was like, this is awesome. When did you get this for me? And she's like. I got it for myself a long time ago and just haven't worn it. And I was yeah. like, well, it's mine now. Exactly. It's like the opposite. Typically, she steals my clothes. I just stole hers because this is yeah. uh, this is awesome. Also, Rockies. We wind up. Not yeah. the worst real, team in the MLB. Real quick, before we go any further, we have to say happy birthday, Zach. Oh, oh. thank That's you. That's right. Happy birthday. That is right. Wow. I, mean, I is forgot since we started. Like, I don't have birthday responsibilities. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh wow. the the, uh, the emotional too. baby birthday song. Thank you, you hear and Henry, yeah. and uh, to everyone. Throw a Speaking of the Toyota chat, though, mm-hmm. it is so cool. Our community is so cool. When we get like a new partner, especially one that people know and a big one, yeah, um, people like love it and they're so happy for us. And they that bought just like a dozen Toyotas today. Yeah, yesterday. Wow. How about that? I mean, I don't know. If like that's one true. person. Yeah. Just wow. Buying a bunch everyone of Toyotas went in on twelve Toyotas. Also. So this season, we wind up with a bunch of Buffs gear, obviously. And I, just one day, because I, what was it? I think it was a Saturday practice. So the Buffs were playing. Um, and so I, I, wore a, I wore a Buff shirt to, to practice. And I can't, it was Alex Singleton who was like, I like your shirt or something like that. Or like, or no, he said, I, didn't, I don't like your shirt, of course, because <laughs> he's like, you're just like flipping sides. Like you're Monta- and I was like, it's actually my girlfriend's shirt. <laughs> because <of saying, laughs> and that yeah yeah i shouldn't have said that one yeah no i wasn't even you sure even <laughs> i wasn't sure if i was going to uh admit that and people i know into a no, chatter, uh, i had a flashback from when i did the same thing um and thank you for all the love in the toyota chat appreciate y'all and so happy to be spending my birthday with you guys yeah okay henry let's let's break down the broncos roster specifically because you kind of went through it and you painted uh Maybe a realistic picture. Maybe they don't a, have any strengths. Maybe a dark picture. Offensive line, I guess, could be a strength. But if you're talking running game, passing game, not a strength. So, yeah, here. Can you pull up? Um, oh, special the, teams uh, on there. No special teams. Uh, no special teams. No strengths. Um, can you pull up the uh, big graphics so people who are watching can just see what it looks like? Okay, don't zoom in on the Broncos because I don't want to give anything away. But you see how this graphic is color-coded. If you yes. are... Uh, if you're a red, if you're a dark red, bad. As you can see, yep. a lot of the dark red toward the bottom because that means you're bad. Yep. A lot of the green means you're good. The white, kind of middle. And then there's different shades of green. The darker the green, the better. Um, the lighter the green, the closer you are to the middle. And then, obviously, the darker the red, mm-hmm. the worse you are. The Broncos have one definite green spot. And then if you really zoom in, don't do it yet, you hear. If you really zoom in, they have one lighter green spot. So according to ESPN and Mike Clay, they're saying they have like one str- one clear-cut strength and then one other good position. And then they, oh, man, they only have one just white. And it's a 2.0. Okay. So it's I imagine that's average. That's middle yep. of the line. The rest is red to some extent. So there's two positions of strength. 
One is definitely above the other, according to ESPN, and special teams are not included. What's the Broncos' strongest position group? And I'll read them again. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, offensive line, defensive line, edge, linebacker, cornerback, safety. So offensive line is the one strength. How confident are you? 10 out of 10. Do you want to phone a friend? No, I don't. You're right. 10 out of yeah. 10, right, no. Henry. Impressive. I mean, that's the obvious one part of the roster that isn't just a mess. Um, and thanks to Throckmacher. Thro- Throckmorton. Wow, you Throckmorton. screwed me up. That was, yeah, Throckmorton. Calvin Throckmorton. It's like such an yeah. incredible name. Well, and the crazy thing is, so now they have Calvin Throckmorton, Alex Forsyth, Luke Wattenberg, and Will Sherman, all of whom I voted for for all Pac-12 at one point. Wow. Yeah. That's a big flex on you. Yeah. Being that, able to vote for that. Well, back in the day. I don't get that vote anymore. It's not like we're voting NFL awards. So. Well, no one no one gets no one gets to vote for Pat twelve anymore. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That is true. R. Nobody R. does. That's a, that's a shame. Yeah, so that the second one is tougher though. Because mm. like I think there is Wait, so really quick, since you since you I properly identified offensive line. Yep. Where would you just guess it ranks in the NFL? The Broncos' offensive line in oh. these rankings and the rest of the NFL. So, so if, this is the Broncos' strength. Where does it rank? If you had Lloyd Cushenberry, I would say 4-5. Okay. But you don't, That's and you're correct. replacing him with two guys who've hardly seen the field um, without much draft hype. And so... And Throckmorton. And Throckmorton. So you're kind of tanking those a little bit. Um, so I would say... I think you're give me nine. Like, give me nine. Did you cheat? No. Spot on, Henry. There we go. And okay. that was actually a great process, too, yeah. the way you went yeah. through that. No. Exactly. If they had ninth, Lloyd, they'd be way up there. Ninth best offensive line, and I agree. If they had Lloyd, they'd probably be right there. Yep. Um, damn. Impressive. Impressive. Yeah. Now let's yeah. see if you can continue this impressive streak. Oh, boy. What's um, the one where the Broncos are just slightly above average? I don't think it's receiver because everybody has good receivers. But you have Cortland Sutton point. who played well, but we're throwing that out. I don't think it's tight end because things went so horribly. But you could look at it and be like, they have a starter, they have upside with Dulcich, so that's not it. Um, running backs. Good process so far, Henry. Yeah, running backs, again, like Javante is coming off 3.6 yards per carry, so I don't think they could put him up there. At the same time, though, you've got him, you've got Samaj, you got Julio, so that is a solid room. Okay. Um, when so Henry's I'm, working I'm, through this, you guys, yep. you guys help him out. Say, That's, say what position you That one's you sick think. in the back of my mind. Okay. Absol- absolutely not quarterback. That is correct. Shouldn't be defensive line, although okay. Malcolm Roach could be a, like a weird numbers guy. Mm. I'd, that one's back of mind with running backs. Okay. Edge rushers, I know Mike Clay all the, does all their like pass rush win rate, all that stuff, and they hated the Broncos outside linebackers. So I'm throwing that out, although I do think that's kind of a sneaky, solid group. Corner. Okay. Uh, uh, Corner again, you tank it after Pat. But how much does Pat count? And you got Jaquan. You know, what? I'm gonna go corner. Did you you want you want to go through the other ones or you? Just I mean, stick a corner safety. I don't think it can be. Brandon Jones was a backup last year, and you you uh, like you got PJ, you got Caden Stearns. I don't think that you, I I think I think that's a group where I'm going to say ah oh, you were too low on them. Um, Linebacker, no, obviously. Uh, you just lost Josie, and we don't know how you're going to fix that. So, yeah, I mean, I think corner... I'm, I'm going to gamble on Pat. Even though I don't think that they should be that high, at least they have the high-end talent that kind of separates them from the running backs or the edge rushers and the defensive linemen. If you're going to gamble, Henry... Yeah. It's damn good to gamble on Pat Sertan. Yes. You are spot there on again. Okay. Man, you're on fire. Yep. Um, yeah, Broncos... 2.4 out of 4 on this scale, okay. just above average. And I think you're right. I mean, when you have oh. the best or arguably the best cornerback in the NFL, mm-hmm. and then also Jaquan, you're absolutely yeah. right. So you have a great slot player, in which and they shouldn't hold Small like sample inexperienced. Size still, yeah, but, but yeah. they probably shouldn't. Hold, well, maybe they do a little bit, but yeah. still, really good when he played. You have the best uh, cornerback, and if we're not just taking sample size, we're taking like who he yep. is right now. He's the best cornerback in the NFL going into next season. Yep. And then, yeah, you do have a hole, but... Two greats, or one elite and one great, yep. kind of help help that group a ton. Yep. So you're right, one on each side of the ball. Yeah. Um, good cornerback group, very good offensive line group. So I'm going to ask you the same question, just like I did with offensive line. Where do you think the Broncos cornerbacks group stacks up um, in terms of being the best in the NFL? I don't 
think it can be top 10 with that hole with the second cornerback. Um, Good process again. But with Pat Sertan, let's, let's just go like 14. Are you freaking kidding me? Did I get right? He's, he looked let's at go. this. You no, must I didn't look. have I didn't looked look. at this. I, did, I didn't look. No. He's like, I didn't have my coffee this morning, so I can't read the screen. We throw it up there, and he just can't miss now. Yeah. Impressive. If I'd looked at it, I would have not guessed Giants with like my 20th guess. You are on such a yep. hot streak right now. That is incredible. Yeah, Henry. this is going well. You now. are right. Bro. I've turned it around. Now we might have to go position by position to see if you oh, keep boy. just hitting 100 that, right yeah. here. Or you know what, people? At some point, yep. People are going to think back to last year's uh, draft show mm -hmm. when we did this, and you guessed all 10 picks correctly. The That's top 10 right. picks correctly. Oh, and people are just going to think that this is a bit. I, if this is a bit, I'm not in on it. You hear that Henry? Was, I in forgot on about it. that. That was so good. <laughs> Here's like, I promise you, I'm not trying to make Henry I look smart. I promise I don't talk to Henry outside of work. <laughs> yeah. Um, Henry, you need, to, you need to chill out right now. Do I? Yeah, because you're a little wow. too hot. It's freaking me out. Yep. You need to grab a Coors Light in front of you and drink uh, it right course. now. No, grab a Coors Light and drink it right now. I thought we were told we have to drink those ones, not those uh, that's ones. That's probably smart. Yeah. And you know what? You'd want the ones in the fridge because they're chilled. They and are chilled. And you know chilled. how you know they're chilled? The mountains. The mountains turn yep. blue, baby. Just like Coors Light wants it because everything about Coors Light is chilled. It is it is brewed chilled. It is bottled chilled. It is served chilled. And you even got the mountains on the cans to show you that it is chilled. And it's for chilling. That's why everything with Coors is about chilling is because it's for when you're just hanging out with your friends, uh, watching a game, hanging out outside. Coors Light is the beer that you should grab. It is our beer here at DNVR. We love it. So when it's time to chill, that's the beer that we reach for at DNVR. And if you want to get it delivered straight to your door through Instacart, go to CoorsLight.com slash DNVR. Celebrate responsibly. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. And uh, check out Premier Members Credit Union. Um, there's a bunch of different financial institutions out there, but this is a good one because it's not a bank. They run things differently. They they put their members first. They have higher savings interest, uh, lower loan rates, uh, which is you know the perk of joining a credit union. Um, for example, if you want, you can open uh, one of their new high yield savings accounts. Um, where you can earn 5% APY on your first $2,000. Oh no, that's separate with the reverse tier money market. There we go. So you can either get the high yield savings account or take the reverse tier money market that they've put together. Whatever your goals, they can help. Uh, PMCU is all about creating a better banking experience for their community. They've got tools to help you save. They're actually very eco-conscious, uh, which I don't think is in the ad read, but it's when you look online, it's one of the things that like stands out about them. Um, they're known as the artisans of banking. Uh, when you become a new member at PMCU, you get $200. You just have to open a checking account. You sign up for e-statements. It's that easy. It'll be the best money move yet. And if you go to becomepremier.com, you can find out more. All right. So check them out. And Henry, do we go to the dark side? Do I have you do sure. the same experiment? Because there's two yeah. position groups on the Broncos that stand out by far as the worst on the team, according to Mike Clay. I was going to give you a hint, but no, yeah. you're too much of a heater. You I don't mean, need, you quarterback need... is one of them. Wow. I mean. How confident? Oh, 10 out of 10. I mean, 10 they're out terrible. Of 10. Well, yeah. spot on. They, you just, you, you staying hot right now. Yeah, they're terrible. So in the Toyota chat, help Henry out. What's the other position? So actually, because you mentioned quarterback and I want, I want the, the Toyota chat to help you right now. Um, where do you think quarterback, the Broncos quarterback situation ranks? I'm trying to every think every quarterback of, position in the NFL. Try to think of who could be worse. And it's, I mean, it's a real challenge as you go through. I mean, not the Bengals, not the Browns, not the Colts. The Steelers are interesting, but, I mean, not really. The Steelers are better. Wait, you just um, said they, the Broncos cut a Super Bowl winning exactly. quarterback, and that's who the Steelers so It's like, it'd be fun to see, like, oh, they actually have Jarrett Stidham in front of Russell, but there's no way you can do that. <laughs> Sean was Especially right. when you have, like, Justin Fields in the background there, who would be the Broncos starter. Um, you got the, oh, the Bears, because they don't have Caleb Williams yet. That is fascinating yeah like they still have bajent but you can't have bajent i mean that you could there's, have bajent ahead of sit there's a chance 
Again, because your process has been so rare, yeah. I'm going to help you out here. There's a chance that actually Mike Clay, so he put these out after free agency, oh. after like the first two waves of free agency. So no Josh Reynolds, which will be important later. Correct. Yeah, okay. no Josh yep. Reynolds. But this could have happened like right before the Justin Fields oh, trade. Oh, okay. That's so good enough. he doesn't say the Bears is good, but he says yep. they're like not the worst. What about so, the Vikings with Sam Darnold? Yeah, I mean, that would be right in there. Um, good pre- man. You would I, think they, Henry's heat is just uh, it's blending over to everyone. We're, um, Vikings we're in the are NFC North with the Bears. Slightly better than the Broncos. I mean, they'd have to be. It's Stidham versus but Darnold. Slightly. So it's not Goff. It's not Jordan Love. It's Wait, not so you Dak. Just think they're the worst. The Broncos. Yeah. I, I'm going to double check before okay. I say it for sure. Okay. Um, not the Cowboys. Not the Texans. I think that this, the Saints. This is where his heater ends. There's, there's one more division. We'll get there. We'll get oh. there. Um, the Saints. Oh, Derek Carr, of course. The Titans. I mean, you, oh, that is Will kind Levis. of a weird one. Yeah, because you would much rather have Levis. But if this is just like who's going to be better, there's no guarantee. It's it's Levis is already better. Um, the Falcons have uh, Kirk. Jags, no. Dolphins, no. Bucks with... No, they did bring back Baker. I'm not sure anyone in the Toyota chat has uh, properly guessed this yet. Okay. Um, the Patriots with Zappy would be an interesting one. Oh, but Mac Jones might still, they might still have Mac in there too. Patriots? Uh, no, he was traded before uh, okay. free agency opened. Okay. Um, so yeah, so Mac stands out. Mac? Oh, uh, sorry. The Patriots stand out with Zappy. Um, I don't think they do that to the Panthers because yeah, everybody likes young the guys. Patriots here? What about um, the Raiders? That's what I'm thinking about. Aiden O'Connell. Like, I'm pretty sure Gardner Minshew is better than Jarrett Stidham. By a lot, though? He just got paid more. Clearly, though. Like, I don't know if it's by a lot, but it is a clear. Um, Gino wasn't as good, but he's still better. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'll say... I'll say the... I don't know. I'd rather have Pat Zappi than Stidham. I'll say the Broncos are the worst. Fuck it. Why not? Damn. You didn't mention one team. The Eagles, the Commanders. Were, yeah. The Commanders. I kind of skimmed through because we were taking so long. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I mean, the Commanders. Yeah, it makes sense. You. Me. Not only are the Commanders hurried up. the worst in the NFL, Yeah. their quarterback position, according to Mike Clay, is the worst position group in the entire NFL. Not just quarterbacks, even, but anything. They, don't they have can to you go, name one? No, they, they signed Marcus Mariota. And that's worse than the Broncos? Going to Mike That's Clay. wrong. Yeah, I, I, Marcus Mariota oh, is better Oh, you know what? Sidham. This could have been in that weird probably, time. When probably, probably, yeah. Oh, but they would have had Sam Howell. Yeah. So maybe, maybe the heater stays alive. I don't know exactly uh, how this boils down. But would you rather have the commander's quarterback situation right now with the second overall pick or the Broncos? See, that's so like, the thing. Yeah. In the end of this, you might actually be right, Henry, unless yeah. the Broncos make a move. And we're going to talk about a crazy move. That might be realistic. We're going to talk about it tomorrow with an NFL, with two NFL insiders, actually. So stay mm-hmm. tuned to that. He has the Broncos at a point three, which is the second worst in the NFL, slightly behind or worse than the Vikings, slightly worse than the Patriots, slightly worse than the Raiders. Um, and that, to me, we know this. That's why we yeah. talk quarterback so much. That's yeah. why some people are like, you guys talk quarterback all the time because it's so important. Mm-hmm. And the way that Mike Clay boiled this down, he didn't say that every position is equal when he put together his final rankings. What he did was he gave uh, weights for certain posi- for every single position when he put the grades together. What do you think was the most important position that he weighted the most? Well, quarterback. Yes, of course. Yes. 27%. Over a quarter of the team is one position. That's probably right. And heck, you can make an argument it's like 50, 60. But he did 27%. What position, okay, not special teams, what position do you think was the least important, according to him? Least there's two important. that are close, but there's one that takes the cake. I don't think you're going to get it. Mm. I think this is when the heater really ends. Safety? That is the least. Uh, no, it's not even the Defensive least important line? on defense. No. Linebacker. Linebacker would be the least important on defense, huh. but there's two that are less important on offense. Oh, tight end? That's the second. Running back? 
That's the least important according really? to him. He has running back. So I said quarterback at 27%. What would you think running back would be? I like mean, if he has quarterback at 27%, and I just told you that running back is the least important so according to him. all things equal would be like eight or so, and it's not equal. So probably like you're looking at one and a half. Yeah, they're close. Three. Three? Three yeah. percent. So like the uh, 49ers are the only team that has a perfect co- running back situation at a 4.0. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean anything, according to Mike Clay, really. Like, yeah. Christian McCaffrey, now obviously Christian does some things in the passing game, too. But for him, it says, like, ah, you're not that valued here. So, running back, 3%. Wide receiver, 11%. Tight end, 4%, just slightly above running back. Offensive line, 11%. Defensive line, 9%. Edge, 10%. Linebacker, 7%. Corner, 10%. And safety, 8%. So, on offense, it's very fluctuating. Defense, yep. pretty much the same all the way around in his eyes. Um, Okay, and then final, you got to guess the second worst position on the Broncos. Okay, so quarterback's the worst. Yep. The tight ends were terrible. This came out before Josh Reynolds, though. Wait, Josh Reynolds isn't a tight end. Uh, No, I was thinking receivers. Uh, Receivers are terrible without him. Um, Running backs would be fine. Defensive line could be bad. Linebackers could be bad. So I go, I think linebacker, tight end, receiver, the tempting ones. I think Sutton saved them. I'll, I'll go tight end. Whoa, as continue to think. I'm going to help you out here. Yeah? You didn't, you didn't go through a whole process. Defensive line, like safety? They can't have safety that low, though. I mean, I guess I did expect them to be lower on the safeties than they should be. Um Yeah, I mean, it could be linebackers. You hear's going inside linebackers after losing Josie? I mean, they could be down on the safeties. But, I mean, ah, that, that is... No, they would be because they haven't... Because Caden didn't even play. Yeah, but then you're also th- forgetting PJ Log had a great season, a bunch of turnovers. I mean, he had a fine season, yeah. Well, like, compared to, like, most safeties, he had... He had a very up-and-down season. Um, yeah, we'll go safety. If you said no on the others, it's got to be safety. So you are discounting Yahir's help. Of course, yeah. No, of we're talking course. football. Wow, Yahir, I'm sorry to do this to you. Oh, yeah. oh safety. Safety. Yeah. <laughs> Point four. So we, everyone knows how bad the Broncos quarterback situation is mm-hmm. right now, especially before the draft. Um, it's at a point three. Safety is at a point four. Yeah. Point four. Yeah. Yikes. And I think you dialed it out. The upside is greater than what we've seen consistently on film. Like you said, Caden Stearns been hurt. PJ Locke started about half the season yep. last year. Um, you lose Kareem Jackson, who was your starter at the beginning of the year. You lose Justin Simmons, who was your all pro, uh, the best safety in the NFL over like the past half decade. Yep. And then you bring in a guy who played less than 50% of the, the defensive snaps on the Dolphins last year. So I see wh- mm-hmm. where they're coming from, but I do think – at the end of the year, Henry, we will look back and say the safety's way outperformed what ESPN yeah. projected. Yeah, Brandon Jones in particular. Mm-hmm. Like you've got one, and then everything else can kind of be patched together. So then how bad do you think the safeties are compared to the rest of the NFL? I mean, we know the Broncos are bad in this, so, I mean, the safeties could be way down there. Um, let's just call it 27. 27? Close. It would be 30. 30. Third, third worst okay. in the NFL. So then yeah. the rest, here's how the rest of the Broncos graded out. Running backs, seventh worst in the NFL. Wide receivers, ninth worst in the NFL. Tight ends, ninth worst in the NFL. Defensive line, 17th best in the NFL, or I guess that's what, 16th worst, 15th worst. Edge, eighth worst. Linebackers, ninth worst. Um, and then we already hit cornerbacks, 14th best, and safety's third worst. So according to ESPN and Mike Clay, the Broncos have two positions that are better than uh, average, and that is cornerbacks slightly above at 14th and uh, um, uh, offensive line at ninth best. I think that's yeah. about right, and the rest pretty yeah. much bottom 10. Yeah, that's probably right. I mean, there isn't. Much of a case we made for anybody else. I mean, a defensive line, I guess, 
If you bring like if you bring back Mike Purcell, that actually could be a really good group because you've got four really solid options. Hennings and is more than worthy of a mm-hmm. rotation spot. I mean, that could be a, a strength. Then obviously, like if one of the outside linebackers gets hot, like Nick Benito did at the start of the year, like five weeks in, we could be saying like, oh, that's actually a good group. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's tough to make that case right now. Yeah, it's fair. But you mentioned making a case. I think this exercise can make a case for some people and how they view what the Mm -hmm. Broncos should do in this draft. And I want to get into that after I tell you about our friends over at Red Hawk Roofing. Red Hawk Roofing has been part of the DNVR family for a long time, so that means you know you can trust them. You can also talk sports with them, Denver Broncos, Colorado sports, and they are also the best roofers with us. They have quality materials, decades of experience, quick response time, Colorado's best estimators and contractors, and they have free no-obligation roof and property inspections and free in-depth photo reports for all inspections. Hail season is here, so don't wait. I had hail two days ago. No, yesterday in my house. All of a sudden, it just started hailing for like 10 minutes out of nowhere. It was crazy. So you want to make sure that your roof is taken care of for when the next hailstorm rolls through over at Red Hawk Roofing. Make sure to check them out at redhawkroofing.com and tell them that DNVR sent you. Yep, and uh, make sure that you are paying attention to our calendar because we got a lot of stuff coming on. Um, the the first golf tournament, first DMVR golf tournament is going to be May third at City Park. Um, Let's go. Yeah, so we're coming back to the bar afterward for lunch and drinks and prizes, all that sort of stuff. You can go to the DMVR.com, get tickets to that, um, to sponsor holes, to stay up to, de- uh, to date on all the events at the DMVR.com. Um, and go to that thedmvr.com slash events because we're going to be announcing our draft party here pretty soon. Mm, yeah. Yes, we so are. So be on the lookout for that. Yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. Okay, Henry. So some people, and we've talked about this, um, when you talk about the draft, it's, man, you do anything to get the quarterback because if you don't have the quarterback, you don't have a chance. And for the most mm-hmm. part, that's right. But then on the flip side, some people say, well, no, build a team up and then get your quarterback once you have a team built because if you don't have a good team for it, especially a young quarterback then you're just putting them in a position to fail Mm -hmm. doing this exercise i think gives those people a lot of uh uh, momentum and and uh, things they can point at to say if you bring in a young quarterback how do you expect them to have any sort of success when they have a bottom 10 running back room, a bottom 10 wide receiver room, a bottom 10 tight end room? They will have a good offensive line, exactly, uh, an above yep. average offensive line. And then on the defensive side of the ball, um, they're really going to have a, a poor defense according to how this rates out. So for those people looking at this, this probably helps the people that say trade back in the first round Get as many more picks as you can, whether it's second and third rounders this year, whether it's a future first rounder, and build the team up before you add the quarterback spot, especially before you trade many assets to go add the quarterback. Yeah, but I mean, you've got the offensive line and you've got solid receivers, I think. I mean, they, they're they lower, but I don't, I don't think that putting a quarterback out there with Cortland Sutton, Tim Patrick... Marvin Mims and Josh Reynolds like that's that's a fine group and if you draft another guy then it's more than good enough um it's definitely not great but it's just so rare that you're actually putting a quarterback in a great situation like that doesn't happen unless you draft Jordan Love and let him sit for a few years and obviously that's not a route that the Broncos can be taking right now um so to me all that really matters is also honestly offensive line is like 80 percent of putting a quarterback in a good situation and that's weapons so I don't I don't think that it's an issue. I don't think you're asking for quarterback to be broken. Like if, if you can't find a second cornerback, that isn't going to mean that your quarterback is just never going to be good. Like the defense really doesn't matter in terms of developing a quarterback. Um, so, yeah, I'm I'm not worried about it. If I were, uh, if I were given one position group that could be good for a rookie mm-hmm. quarterback, I am choosing offensive line. Definitely. Like. Receiver, sure, that would be nice. Running backs would be yep. a nice luxury to yep. be able to fall back on. Of course, that would be a great thing to have. Tight ends, a nice safety safety net, but yep. you're picking the offensive line every single time. So that's a great counterpoint, Henry. Um, and despite doing this, I still understand where those people and that argument comes from, and I don't think it's wrong. 
I just still think the Broncos have the second worst quarterback group in the NFL. You have to add to that. And if that means, for me, trading multiple first-round picks uh, and giving up a ton to go get that guy, then that's what you got to do because they're mm-hmm. the second worst quarterback group in the NFL right now. The commanders are going to add to their room. So Broncos, by the time the number 12 pick comes around, they will be the worst quarterback room in the NFL. And Mike Clay has that as a 27% of your team. I think it could yep. be even more than that, but I think that's maybe a, a fair, realistic number. You have to have that. And I do think it really helps that they have that offensive line, too. So um, I think this is a really interesting uh, Mm -hmm. uh, thing to do. And, Henry, you were on fire doing this. Uh, One more test for you. So we already went through the best roster, the worst roster. Who do you think has the worst defense in the NFL? Worst defense. And I'll give you a hint. Um, None of these questions will be the Broncos. Well, that's good. Um... I wouldn't do that. I mean, not on my birthday. Can't be. Yeah, can't that's be bringing true. the show that's down true. like that. The Cardinals could be bad. The Raiders could be bad. This um, is not a bad team. How about that hint? Oh, weird. It's not a great um, team. Not a bad team. Which is surprising. Who's a decent team with a terrible defense? Yep, that's exactly I mean, where you got to go. They lost. Oh, the Chargers defense? No. Is it oh, the they've Bills? got pieces still. No. 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 You were close with the Chargers. The Rams. The Rams. Yeah. They lost Aaron Donald, too. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. So they're at a point three, which is awful. Awful. Now, what about the worst offense in the NFL? Oh, boy. And I told you the, I mean, Broncos, the Broncos will not be yeah, an answer. Exactly. To this. Otherwise, they would be. Um, in fact, there's three teams tied for the worst offense. If you can guess one. I'll give it, okay. give it all to you. So, I mean, you go to... You get one guess. Oh, okay. One guess. I would guess go with the... Broncos are second. I'll go Commanders. Commanders. Ding, 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 There ding. we go. Yep, you are right. Commanders are tied with the Patriots yep. and the Giants as the worst offense in the NFL. All at a point five. Broncos at a point six. So, there you go. Slightly better than that. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for offense. Who has the best or the worst? No, no, no. The best. Who has the best defense in the NFL? Best defense would be the probably the 49ers. Nope. Good team, Ravens. not great team. No. Nope. Oh, weird. Huh. Um. How about the... T- 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 Oh, the Bucks? No. Huh. No. Defense. Best defense. Best defense. I mean, Miles Garrett with the Browns. Yeah, it's Browns. It's Browns. Yeah. Yep, you're right on that. Um, Okay, and then what about the best offense? It's okay. You can say it. 49ers, Raiders, or Ravens, or Chiefs. So I'll just go Chiefs. Yep. Yep. It's the Chiefs. Third is the 49ers. Second (laughs) is the Eagles, actually. According Weird. to this, I mean, when you think about it, huh. really I good guess quarterback the fell off. Eh. Really good quarterback, excellent offensive line, really good tight end, elite receivers, and now you add Derrick Henry. Yeah. True, Derrick I mean, Henry's good. That actually does make a lot of sense, man. Yeah. Eagles are going to be fun. Eagles are going to be fun and interesting. All right, Henry, we got to update our March Madness bracket right now. Yesterday. We had a quarterback situation in there, and we have a winner from that. Yesterday, we broke down, what was it, J.J. McCarthy going up against um, Fuaga. Not who won. What do you think the percentage was? Oh, probably 87-13. Damn, really impressive. 85 ah, to damn. 15. I'm actually surprised that 15% of people, Yeah, I guess people. some people just hate J.J. McCarthy, so yeah. don't want to see him here. Today, we've got Drake May going up against Jared Verse. This is an interesting one here. Very interesting one. Is it just going to be quarterbacks across the board, or can a talented pass rusher surpass Drake? Who's your vote for going for here, Henry? I don't know. It's tough. It's probably Drake May. I think you just have to do it. Um, I'm I'm really tempted. Like to me, you either have like a, a quarterback's either draftable or not. 
And if he's draftable, then you go get him because if you if you're willing to draft him, obviously you draft him up high. Um, there's a real part of me that thinks he's just gonna suck, though. Like there's you watch the pro day and you're just like that's not that's not a good quarterback and he's making all the same like he can't throw the football accurately that's that's an issue that could come up would be um but yeah it's still drake may i we've got three weeks till the draft so who knows i might at that point i might just say i'm not i'm not touching drake may but for now well i hope you don't touch him well yeah we'll see we'll see probably a good thing just to say right now admit right now um and as chris points out yeah i meant saquon went to the eagles not derrick henry my bad thanks for catching that chris oh um and i agree with you i think you had the exact same thought process that i had it's like gosh you can get a especially sitting at 12 i'm not trading up for drake may i'm not trading first round picks for for drake may but this is like if jared verse or drake may fall to you gosh but then i still agree with you if you don't love a quarterback don't draft him but it's an edge rusher or that. So, yeah, give me Drake May as well. And you can vote for this. I'm curious. This is going to be a closer vote. You can vote for this over on DNVR underscore Broncos on Twitter X. Get your vote in. Vote will be up later today. And we've got one more vote tomorrow before we've got our final four. Yep. And it's not going to be all quarterbacks. So it's going to be close to all quarterbacks and that is not a surprise at all okay before we get out of here got to get to our wow. super chats in the toyota chat first one coming in for broncos only says happy birthday zach thank you so much we share a birthday well happy birthday to you broncos only he says crazy thing is that you mentioned calling your brother on his birthday on january 29th i have a brother with a january 29th birthday too that is wild broncos only yes. maybe you're like a brother from another mother i don't know that is awesome happy <laughs> birthday from another state That's what yeah it is. yeah you're right zach wow. from another state um we love your support broncos only hope you have a great birthday today hit us with a thumbs up if you're tuning in on youtube right now it really really helps us out um and speaking of birthdays brandon jones yes just turned uh, 27 would be my guess. Yes, because he's a young one. Because all of these guys that the Broncos signed are young. So happy birthday to Brandon Jones. And we've got an awesome show lined up for you tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss this one. I've got a crazy question to throw out. Mm -hmm. But the question isn't crazy because Sean Payton was the one to put this out in the universe. And we turn 26. Young Brandon Jones. Yep. Uh, joining the Broncos this year. So we've got a very fun show tomorrow. Our guy, James Palmer, is going to be tuning in with Henry and I. So make sure to tune in tomorrow on the DMVR Broncos podcast. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. We all silly like the mayor.